Has I made alien it. beasts. That's what he sounds like. Play. The movie has killed itself. Black tarp. Eh? I was just doing push-ups on my lawn. You damn dirty apes! <laughs> Somebody's coughing in the back. That's probably Carl. <laughs> Carl, we can hear you. Oh. That guy was actually hurt. Yeah, she really slammed him. Is that Carl? Getting beat up right now. I don't even know how I look right now. You just woke me up. Yeah. Again, Carl. I'm just, being... I'm just gonna say that Carl. Oh, was that supposed to be a punch in the face? I don't know if that's supposed to be an alien you're fighting or just a bad neighbor. <laughs> this is community theater. What is this? Somebody in the background has a huge cough. Well, who's this supposed person supposed to be in like an office suit, kicking and punching and? This is the opening. <laughs> this, is very this is what is what's going on? What is this? What was this tag out type thing? Why is this person fighting this person now? Is somebody just laughing what? in the background. I wonder if that's the jujitsu, 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 jujitsu. This was not choreographed. No. Jujitsu. Jujitsu. Yeah, jujitsu. Why doesn't that sound right? My gosh. Why is that more interesting than this? Why is this person still fighting them? He pretends like he knows what he's doing. And then she runs off. Oh, hello, I'm Carl Sakenik. I remember, I remember how this all started. It all started a long time ago. We were working for the Department of Defense. Sarah's family was playing in the park. We were all enjoying ourselves. Then terrorist agents attacked Sarah's house. They attacked. Terrorist agents attacked Sarah's He's winded. house. We went racing to Sarah's house and tried to fight off the attacking enemy agents. I remember. I remember. Is I this remember supposed to be a narration or is this supposed to be like. No. He's like, I remember what happened and this is the aliens attacking his house. So that was a. That, that one that we just watched was previous uh, was in the future okay and then he's like i know what happened this is what happened and then that was a flashback and this is a flashback but the guy is winded carl is winded trying to explain all that it's amazing these are all aliens people in casual wear <laughs> so that is carl fighting off Wait, the aliens right now. But what's funny is, I wonder, he looks more like an alien than they do. Yeah. Are, are those, is that supposed to be the alien and those are the, the non-aliens? I don't know. If, 
if he beats them, then that means we lose as a society. If Get Carl back, beats people, back in the frame. Back, back in the frame. He's killed everybody. Really? So who's this guy? That's the guy from the very beginning that was fighting people that was really terrible. Are you gonna go down, Carl? Oh my god. I finally realized the, the, the music that's playing is not in post. They have a radio or boombox and they're playing it while they're recording. He's walking back to hit the, turn the recorder off. Turn it off. <laughs> Turn it off. All right, get up. Get up. We're done. Right, get up. Get off. Get off. Wow, they did. Keep that in. I found negative mode on the camera. I was hitting buttons on the camera, and look what I found. <laughs> We were hit by some strange radiation blast. We were all knocked unconscious. We woke up and the enemy agent was gone. Months have passed. Months have passed. No more activity. From He's making agent. this shit up as now, he goes. We are moving top secret weapons to a new location. And there's been a strange radiation storm. I am talking to Sarah. Sarah. We have a very serious situation here. Neil and some men have been, del been delivering weapons to a top secret weapons base. Delivering. We have lost contact with them. We, uh, there's been some sort of strange radiation storm. Abe and Joe have been monitoring them on the security system monitors. We don't know what is going on. I am going to meet with Joe. I want you to go get your family, make sure they're safe, and wait there. Do to you be think this is up. his caregiver? I am going to go. To see I think Joe. she's being now, held captive. Important. I have a knife and an axe in the pocket. I think he grabbed somebody off the street here. If you will, and it. held somebody in their room. Do you understand that? Now listen to me very carefully. Don't space out all over the place. I She's really scared we are delivering to be in front of him right now. To a top secret weapons base. There's been some strange radiation storm. We do not know what's going on. Abe and Joe are monitoring this is real fear. security cameras. We have lost contact with Abe and Joe. Everything is going totally crazy. I want you to go to your family. Stay there with them, make sure they're safe, and wait there till someone picks you up. Remember, there's a knife and a hand axe inside the pocket of the blue jacket that I am leaving over here with you. If you want to take it, take it with you. Do you understand everything? Uh, so, yeah. Now, the man who's probably going to pick you up is Hackney's brother, Author. There's nothing. He's a big he has some this is literally. Uh, has anybody looked into this guy? Universe. Any police officer? I don't, I don't we think don't, he's I don't physically well. uh, capable but of even holding Abe a gun. Joe are watching I think he is. I think he held a gun on think. this person. We know that. We remember we've lost contact with them, so we consider this thing potentially dangerous. I want you. I'm going to repeat this again and again. And Not another cut. Now. You okay? Now. Do you understand me? Don't flip out on me anymore. 
Don't flip out on me anymore. Is okay? You know what this be careful. I'm afraid I have to warn you though. What? Actual you acting. Anything in the I know it. I know it. Speak loud, I'm kinda deaf. Boy, that's gotta be Carl right with there. Anything. Why is everything hand like hand tilted to the left? In the next room. Be careful, don't knock over anything. Go. Why why do you have to be smoking? Aren't you even going to wish me good luck? Come here. Come here. Let it grow me all night. Bye-bye. That is his Sarah went to the park and met her family. She changed out of the radiation. I, I'm flabbergasted. I have no idea what I'm watching the people now. People to pick her up. She didn't know that. Is this like a manifesto of some guy who's just lonely, who has like everything again. He's he's like just she putting stuff and living in somebody she else's that house. Know that everything was happening was the first part of an invasion from outer space by extra dimensional beings. What are they trying I to do? and met with Joe to find out what was going on. We're, that's what we're trying to figure out. I met with Joe. He told me that him and Abe were watching on the security <laughs> monitor system and they saw that the base was being attacked by the same enemy agents that we fought before. He also notified me that oh, we wow. had hordes of traitors. The base was being team. attacked by the same enemy on agents mission, that we have fought Neil before. Neil, the point man who was delivering the weapons, is a traitor. He notified me that he was in communications with Abe, and they saw the base being attacked by traitors. There's no traders, way he's making this shit up as he goes. And by, uh, by, by enemy agents, and then they saw the incredible radiation storm hit the situation has gone totally crazy who gave we him a camera what was going on. <laughs> who gave him a camera i'm pretty sure together together he went dumpster diving and, and found figure it figure out which one of the two members of the team are traitors and kill them and figure out a way to rescue the weapons that are being we believe stolen from the base at this time from the base we saw At this time. on the security monitors. Oh man, that was real. Monitor. Abe was watching on the security monitor. Okay, so Abe is watching all this on the security monitor. Yeah. Cool, it does that negative. Uh, come on, Carl. Carl's probably trying to. Oh. Abe and Joe saw Neil, the traitor, come in contact with a meteorite fragment. There was an incredible energy blast. Neil returned into this hideous monster. Abe and Joe were watching on the security monitors. We did not know that this meteorite storm and energy blast was, was from aliens from extra-dimensional universe. And that that guy is just wrapped in saran wrap. Control. There were other enemy agents in this area, knocked unconscious. And now they were underneath the extra-dimensional being's control. We had no idea of this. This is a cry for help. Security camera inoperable. Security camera inoperable. Security camera inoperable. For some reason, in inoperable does not look like it's spelled correctly. Oh, this is what we're in for. Oh, yes. 
You know, I think the last last oh, scene. Yeah. What, I think the last. Oh. The base is under attack by foreign enemy agents working for Iran. The base is under attack by foreign enemy agents working for Iran. So I think the last scene okay, of the guy sitting there, they filmed that previously. They're like, oh, isn't this weird? And then they're like, hey, this could be, this could be uh, our aliens. I'm pretty sure this whole movie is just coupled together by just random stuff that they shot. Of Commander Carl J. J. Sakenik's team is unaccounted for. Try to locate them on security systems. I feel for the people who, who stood name next to this guy and said. Are I'll help you. Sarah Shell, Mark Shell, Sheila Shell, their daughter, civilian personnel. I wanted to be so, the fly on the wall for the guy who I, actually. So, so the girl and the family, scanning. they're like, scanning. hey, we're not doing this again. Scanning. Oh, well, they're missing now. Abe was watching on the security monitor and he saw this. Abe was watching on the security monitor and he saw this. Agents located. Agents located. Wait. <laughs> He has to repeat twice. Who are these guys? Yeah, we don't enemy know. Enemy agents in the area. Enemy agents in the area. Oh, they stabbed him now. Stabbing him. And she's leading him <laughs> off the. Who's this guy with the. No, don't kill the little girl. I don't know what's going on. Oh, they stabbed her too. Leave her? She, she was stabbed in the. Like, the shoulder. How did this person feel when they finally saw this movie? I don't know. She stabbed in the stomach. Uh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm just fine. I'll stab you again. Maybe it is. You're not. Are you dead yet? I'm gonna touch your feet. This is now. Are we just watching a rape? No, she's very capable of leaving. Is that a real knife? Maybe. I'd be afraid of that. Who is this person? Wait. They just run into his hand? That guy is <laughs> either really trying really, really hard, or he was really knocked out <laughs> right there because he went down very quickly. <coughs> she's dead. He's dead. Now she's breathing. <coughs> Carl, come on. Make it realism. Carl's over there smoke, chain smoking. <laughs> you know, this is good. This is good. Keep it up. Yeah. <coughs> She's awake. What are you doing? For this movie? Oh my god. No. That is a real knife.
Yeah. I'd say this is a snuff film. I'm pretty sure she's fearing for herself. If I just lay here, Carl will not hit stab me. <laughs> That's right, Carl. Chain smoke. There are other people in this park. You can hear them. must have paid her to, hey, you can grab my chest. Movies are amazing. You can get girls to just do whatever you want because they're in a movie. You can kiss them on the cheek. You can grope them. Because you know in real life they won't let you do that. But when you're playing pretend... either. Way to stand, Carl! <laughs> Is this symbolism? You have <laughs> to pull something? it out to see that uh, it, it was fake. You had to turn the, the camera and make sure it was not in focus. Oh, look. They hid the rest of the hand underneath some brush. Look. Look! Stop talking and coughing, Carl. Quiet on the set. He's still alive. Now who's taking pictures? They're asking about the camera right now. All right, guys. I'll dispose of the bodies. You go to the base. You hear me? I'll dispose of the bodies. You go to the base. Come on. <laughs> He's literally standing next to the camera doing the voices for those other people. Yep. You, you go, go to the base. base. Like I said, uh, I need another the shot of the docks. Was knocked unconscious by the radiation storm, and now she. That wasn't her. Of the alien being from the extra dimension. They had to get a wig and then cover it up because she's like, I'm not laying here anymore. There's ants. There's corn syrup on me. Gotta get out of here. And I'm walking. Oh god, no! Ew! Alright, we just choked out this random guy. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh. Am I? I'm in the I'm in the street. Let me go. Let me go. Okay, uncle. Uncle, I'm in the street. I'm in the street. Let's get out of here. This person's really fearing for their life. I I can just imagine you hear off camera, you hear 
car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are they doing now? And now it's like beatboxing. But without beatboxing. <laughs> Don't worry, this is how white people dance. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the 90s. <laughs> We're just trying to make everybody happy. Really? Oh. Yeah. Heads come off when you do this. <laughs> Alright, Carl. Carl. We're gonna have to make that go away. We're gonna have to clean that. We didn't bring any soap. All right, Carl. <laughs> Everybody run. That blood stain is still there from 1991. Who agreed to be in this movie? I feel sorry for these people. Carl shushed people for the first time. Carl shushes people. But he doesn't, and he's not aware of his coughing and him talking throughout the, he's not. The female enemy agent broke into the special weapons base and was stealing the weapons. Could you at least give her pants? Nah. <laughs> Cause it's Carl. Carl's like, I need, I need, I need. How is she stealing weapons if she's grabbing underwear? I, I, I need sex in this movie. No, really? what? What the hell? That's the same lady who did Sarah. They paid me. And now I'm a you monster. You're not stealing weapons if you're just sitting here putting on different clothing. Uh, I gotta take a trick and have to shut that door. Didn't miss anything. She's doing yep, the same she's thing. She's still doing it. <sighs> okay, is that enough? Carl hasn't this said cut yet. This movie's gonna be such a hit. <laughs> Carl hasn't said cut yet, so I have to keep going. This is gonna be the greatest movie ever made. What the heck is that? That she pulled up. You know what I bet happened? Is that a coat? What? Yeah. It's a, that's a weird camo coat. I bet you after this movie was done, he invited all his friends and family to come to this big old theater premiere. And then she's like, oh, I gotta show it. I gotta show everybody this is the greatest movie ever. So she's sitting in the audience and she's like, man. I guarantee she walked out three minutes in. I'm, she's like, because I know what this entails <laughs> and what people are going to see. I didn't know my boobs looked that bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna insult people's bodies. No, I'm just, you know, everybody. But I don't think she should have done this for this movie. No, I'm just saying, like, that's the thing is, everybody, you know, is critical about their. I guess my joke didn't understand. Everybody's critical on their body, and whenever it's in a movie theater, you're always like, oh my god. Well. I think this shot could have ended a long time ago. As well with all the shots. As well this movie. Could have ended a long time ago. Those are some weird panties. No. They're regular for the time. Are they? Is that nunchucks? Thank oh. I'm gonna go before she stops. Danger. Radiation fallout. Danger. Radiation fallout. Is she Carl's girlfriend? I have no idea. And that this was one of their, uh... Hey, we're gonna... We're gonna do this? I bet you he was just jerking off behind the camera and she just thought it was fun. She didn't know it was going to be in this movie. Oh, come on. 
Come on. This now is why like, my movie get. Now I'm gonna put on the bra. This is why my movie gets money. I would assume that she knows how to do this a little bit easier. I don't know what she's trying to do. Is she trying to be like sexy for him? Yeah. I'm telling you, this is like she's just play, playing around with Carl. Yeah, they filmed this. Well, he's like, oh, that would be cool. That would be sexy. Ooh, yeah. This is our. Uh, this is our. What, what is it? The the phone videos that people do like selfie stuff. What but for 91. That? Why didn't she just put the dang bra on yet? It's just around her waist. This is the stupidest thing ever. That's a full body jumpsuit. Camo. Carl has it for the fallout. I'm not going to put the bra on. Yeah, who cares for the bra? Oh yeah, oh, I forgot yeah, about that. that. That exists. Okay. Oh, oh is it on backwards? Around. Yeah, it is. This girl's just as stupid as Carl. I'm not insulting it. Carl. Here. Are you gonna put one oh, thing on idiot. at a time? Oh my god, who one does this? This thing. This is the dumbest thing ever. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one oh too. Oh my god. And that old man. Thank you. Anybody who said, yes, I'll be in this movie, deserves to be called an idiot. Uh, I gotta put this on. Carl's like, all right, now, open up the butt flap. Still on this uh, shot? I get it. Get it, Carl. Move on. Move on. Come. Carl, come on. <laughs> <laughs> My most prolific movie is Alien Beasts. Alien Beasts. Everybody loves the movie. I stuck it up on YouTube and I have five views. Yeah, how many views are on Alien Beasts? I don't know. This doesn't want to... I'm gonna take that. 16,000 views. It's not bad. More views than we've got. <laughs> Period. Because uh, everybody wanted to see some flappy titties. Oh, now she's Is done. Is he whistling? She's done. She's frozen. You need to cut. Oh my god, it's the same room. That was a mistake. That's the next door neighbor. That was a mistake. Why is he blowing in the microphone? Danger, radiation fallout. Dan Could he not Weapons actually record anything? Clothing it had to be a picture? To stop the female enemy agent. My friend Joe, I repeat, put on anti-radiation clothing and tried to stop the female enemy agent from stealing the weapons from the base. Okay. Oh no. Danger, radiation fallout. Danger, radiation fallout. Danger, radiation fallout. Oh, fight. I, I think this is now their sex video. So wait, that's not Joe? That might be Joe. If he just starts to take that off of her again, I'm gonna be really mad. Who's recording this? Oh, 
I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here anymore. This is. Uh, this becomes a rape video. What are you doing? You just took, and you're you're touching her, aren't you? Oh my god! This is somebody's the whole movie. This is a sex video. She thought she <sighs> got paid. No, she didn't. She got paid. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. She is lovers with the director guy. No, she's she just not thought lovers. this was fun. She's, she's not lovers with the director guy. She's lover. Yeah, she might be. But who's filming? Because that might be the director. I'm pretty sure that's the director, and they're just like, oh, this is one of our fun, like, playful videos. But who's filming? No, no. No! We had to sit here and watch her put all that on. <laughs> okay. Now he's just grabbing her. Where's the window? Stop it. Where's the window? Are you got so nobody came out and said by that's the how, way that's how he does it he doesn't use like it's gone I'm, I'm, I'm wiping you off like I'm wiping dust off nobody came out and said hey wait I, 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 I was sexually molested by Carl Su Sunakis wait Suckus he was saying move. don't move. But you know what was weird? Before he left, he tried to give her a kiss, and she purposely made him kiss him. So now she's being felt up by him. How uncomfortable is she? So she is not his girlfriend. She was paid. I don't think he paid anybody. I'm somebody paid her. Probably the old man watching. <laughs> He's like, I funded this movie. Stop it. The monster started giving off radiation. The monster started giving off radiation. Did he? Is she the monster? Or is he the monster? We gotta keep the car running, because we gotta get out of here. We're not supposed to be here. Is this movie all about the girl's body? Because that's all it is. We're gonna watch the girl do random stuff. I'm actually, you know what? I'm actually fairly impressed right now. Keep in mind, he shot this all on VHS, right? I mean, he edited this. Like a year. Did did all he do is take a bunch of VHSs and just like record, cut, record, play, record, play, record, play, and just like constantly have like this little recording just set up and then speak into a microphone? No, he did all the vocals on camera. Yeah, you know, some of them are frozen pictures. You're right. Maybe it had a little microphone dubbing on the camera that he just hooked the microphone to. We used to do that when we were kids. We put we had a we had a little uh, camera that our mom gave us. I mean, it wasn't little; it was big. You would stick the D, the VHS that you got from uh from you know. Blockbuster and stuff, and then you would hook it up to the TV, and you would record on the TV on a another VHS, and you'd record the, the movie, so you always had it. So you'd have to go out and buy it because our family was cheap. The assassin and Sarah were destroyed <laughs> by the energy blast, and Joe was turned into this hideous 
monster. And Pete Joe was turned into this hideous monster. Who was Joe, Joe was again? Not under the control of the Joe apparently was the guy who tried to stop the, the one Pete girl. Joe was not from under leaving. control of the extra dimensional monster. He went to get the meteorite fragment to destroy it. What's up, fool? I'm just chilling, dancing, and chilling. And break dance. And break dance. No? Okay. I think this is just somebody walking to go take a poop. This is the way I walk whenever I really gotta go. I wonder what the motivation was. Oh, hideous monster. By now he's just, is he looking at his lighter? Just a homeless guy. They just put a mask on a homeless guy. Did he just tell his dad to sit down? I remember, I remember, I remember. Bet you that's his we parents' house. We didn't know house. the secret. We didn't know the secret. We knew. I knew that this was part of an invasion from extra dimensional beings from an extra dimensional universe and they were the ones that caused the radiation and meteorite storms but nobody knew the supreme secret. When the mutated Neo gave off the energy blast no one saw this that he opened up a parallel dimensional opening releasing into this earth a hideous, harp extra-dimensional being. This hideous being came through the extra-dimensional porthole and stayed hidden. Nobody even knew it was here. Nobody knew it was here. Carl showed his parents this movie. His dad walked up to him and said, Get the fuck out of my basement. <laughs> Go get a job. <laughs> get a real job. You're 30. <laughs> get out. You're 35. You can at least get a real job now. Inspiration for the movie Step Brothers. <laughs> I don't know what uh, SNES game he was playing, but it rocked. I repeat, I repeat, this hideous extra-dimensional being came through an extra-dimensional porthole. No one saw him come through. I didn't know this was happening. I went on to get the rest of the team. I knew that they were traitors. But I didn't know who was a traitor, and I had to wait for the right time to destroy How do you them show all? this to people? I had Did he, to like, w stand the right on the side of the street with, like, a VHS and was just showing it on a little TV or something? Hello, you hear me good? Yeah. You hear me good? Yeah. Okay. I have information to notify you of. We were burglarized. Do you understand me? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. We were burglarized. They stole the new hand grenade launching weapon when we were fighting her. The weapon is missing. The new hand grenade weapon? We have 14 hours to retrieve the weapon. In 14 hours, which we all work for, which we all love, will come down here himself and pick up the weapon. That was the plan. Now the weapon is missing. We are all in a lot of trouble. Now, uh, we have determined that the thief has not left 
the perimeter of the base. This is literally in his garage. This was no, not his. That's garage. his living that's room. That's his dad's garage. No, that's okay. his living room. That is not his now, living room. That that is his bed. Um, I went that is his <laughs> table that they give him. This was after his dad kicked him yeah. out. <laughs> so so he breaks into the garage and just sets something up. Can he stop smoking and drinking and just finish the fucking lines? You know, the funny thing is, uh, we knew people like this that have to constantly chain smoke. They can't do anything without smoking constantly. What was their life? Take this fake plastic grenade. Sit down. Take this sucker. Be very careful with it. I know, I know, I know. You know, you know, you know, you know. Okay. Take the gas mask. It's a good thing you were hiding for a good amount of time. You got a good jump on the guys, okay? okay. Alright, 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 yeah. Fuck off, I'm down, I'm down. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Go. Go out to sector 15. Good luck. Rhino! Whoa! Okay. Okay. Be who are all these people to him? Sector 12, you understand me? Sector are these his friends? I think he's their dealer. I think he's their drug dealer. And he literally just asked them, hey, if I'm going to give you drugs, you need to come over here and do this. This guy is obviously tripping on something. Mr. Hackney. Mr. Hackney? Drop the lighter, please. I don't want any flammable materials except for the cigarette near me. Set! Set! Give me a goddamn light! You're burning up! You're burning me up here! You're burning me up here! You're burning me up! Now I gotta crack these cigarettes. Now give me a light, goddammit! Right. Give me a light! Thank you! Ah, uh, please, I'm dying here! I need a cigarette. Can you not know how to light it? Is he trying to light the cigarette with his other cigarette? Whoa, are you all right over there? Everything's fine. Everything's fine? Okay. Go out to your sector already. He is. He's trying to light the cigarettes with his other cigarette. Thank you for the Yeah? Alright, I'm going to go watch it. Take this gas mask. Yeah? Now! Go! Get your flag mask, get your combat suit. He's like a... No! There's a lot, there's a lot of handicapped people that love military and, and weapons and stuff. I think he's one of them. I think, I think this is literally, this is a mentally handicapped person. So he's adding sound effects now. I mean, that cutaway thing is very effective. <laughs> Whatever they have. That the guy in saran wrap? Yeah. I mean, it's creepy. Except the dad. Well, at least he got a cigarette before he died.
Alright. So oh no. Oh no. Wait. Somebody else. Oh. She's dead. No, not yet. Nope. Oh my gosh. One of the greatest action sequences ever. Did Carl watch this and be like, yeah, I'm a director. I'm a director. I don't know. There's probably commentary somewhere. And I have to find it. <laughs> Who's this guy? He's whistling at the guy trying to get his attention. She's dead, so is it his turn now? I like that mask. Whatever mask do they have. Is this supposed to be Mrs.? Yep. <laughs> He's making the voice sound effects. Oh, look. I would be surprised if like 15 year olds made this movie. Like, like, I would be like, oh, you know what? It seems like a little thing that some 13 year olds did. I, I would hope not, especially in the halfway point. Oh, yeah, the naked nudity. No. Oh, here's Carl now. Carl's like, I can fight you. Come on. I like them french fried taters. <laughs> Carl's like, I'll show you how to actually I'm blocking, fight. I'm blocking every single one. I blocked it with my mind melt. I've got a shield. No, you didn't. You didn't get me. Look, I'm winning. I like how I'm he winning. screamed. Did I win? Cut. Am I in shot? <laughs> All right. Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna get you. Look. I won. And oh, I caught you. I caught you. Look. Ha! Oh, this is called the super hug. And we're down. I'm gonna fight aliens with love. Look. Look. Car. And I took your. You're dead. You're dead. Cap, see, he stabbed you. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. That's a real weapon. That's a sigh, right? What I did was a sigh. <laughs> <sighs> That's my room. <laughs> this is dad's room. His dad is so. De this is his dad actually watching the movie. is gathering up his energy to give out another energy blast. The monster is gathering up his energy to give out another energy blast. Oh, 
epilepsy warning. Stop it. Stop cutting to the old cat. Oh, come on. Stop it. Oh, luckily she's still... What? What do I do? Do I go over here? Do you want me to go over here? What do I do? You didn't tell me anything. Was I supposed to be doing something? Oh, oh yeah, that's my Oh my god, order. is this the fight Hold again? Together. Oh my god, it's... Closer. Them going over there. They're supposed to be in a new location. But he didn't move the camera. He turned the Daniel. camera. Tell her! Tell her! Is that good? Really? I want to grab the leg, huh? Sweep the leg! That's gonna take Carl again. No, they're all dead. Carl, get in here. Get in here, Carl. Carl, get in here. Oh, yeah, that's my cue. I'll show you how to fight. I'm the most amazing director of all time and most amazing fighter. Now he threw away his Siggy. <laughs> I know how to fight. Uh, yeah, yeah th those didn't phase me because I blocked them. Look, I, uh, I'm gonna bear hug you. I'm gonna fight you with love. Atomic cock. I'll show you how it's done. He's coughing up a lung because <laughs> <laughs> he's already done. I need my sig. Uh. Uh. This is foreplay. I have to get all my friends in on it. Choking Hey, Carl, I uh. made you and your friends some tea. Alright, Mom. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, I got. Hold on. I'm fighting the alien. Peace. I made you sandwiches too. Mom, hold right. on. I paid for her. I got a. Look. I kissed her on the cheek. Yeah. I'm gonna kiss this guy on the cheek. I tickle him. I'm tickling him awake. <laughs> He really looked like he did. Yeah, <laughs> and he like, I'm awake. <laughs> Don't touch me. Uh, thanks, Carl. Most amazing fighter. Uh, you think we can have another one? Okay. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm alive. Seems they don't hit that hard, anyways. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank God I have this. Overcoat thingy. Don't worry, I'll give you all meth later. Heroin is a strong drug. The monster is gathering up his energy to give out an other energy blast. The monster is but gathering up. You just said to that. And other this shit almost blast. over. Does it matter? Oh yes, we it live, does. We live in the world of the alien beast. Oh no! It's about to explode! Get out of it! Uh oh. Countdown to energy blast. Countdown Is my hairline receding? Blast. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Energy blast! Oh yeah. Feel it? Wait. Now it's back to him fighting her. You know what I think this is? Him and his friends just went out there and they were like, hey, let's do fake karate. 
I mean, we used to do it when we were like 13. Yeah. Fake bad karate. I bet you that's what this is. And he recorded it and then just made like a thing over it. But they're like in their later 20s and 30s. Oh, yeah. Or what was the movie back uh, before 91 that everybody's like, oh, karate. That would that, be more like Karate Kid. That's 80s. They must really like just the... I mean, you have plenty of... Jackie of, uh, Chan movies from overseas and stuff. You, you oh, I mean, movies. Bruce Lee. Anything Bruce Lee. When did Bruce Lee die? Uh, Mid-80s. I have to look away. Yeah, because that's the exact same thing we just watched. Bruce Lee only made like four movies before he died. American. No, four movies in general. Really? I thought he made a whole bunch of them. No, what people did was he had uh, footage that was that was never used, and they would take his movies or take the, those and put it in the movie and say Bruce Lee is starring in this movie. There's a whole slew of movies like that. And that was after his death. Now he was on a TV show. Get the arrow gun. Am I done yet? I've been sitting here. Jen? Didn't we just watch this? Get in there. Get off. Get off. That car. See car. I got the arrow gun sucker. I got the arrow gun sucker. What? Recycle over and over again into an hour and 14 minutes long. God, it's the same footage. See, look. This is the amount of movies that he was actually in. And then the, they, the rest was, uh, was all made up. So about seven. Ish. Uh, maybe, maybe like ten. Four, five, six, seven. Something like that. That's how movies he was actually in. And then, now keep in mind, they, they also do things, like his parents put him things in, when he was an infant, put him in things, like in Japan. But I'm talking about actual mainstream movies. Right. I think China. China, right? But, um, 
Like he 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 did a few like Asian things that were like this. <laughs> um Do you and have a so mushroom that they you're counting? In total he was in about thirty-two movies. If you count like low budget Asian things that he was not actually in and such. They they stole his image. Kinda like Bella Lagos. In uh yeah, kind of like the uh, Planet Nine, Plan yeah. Nine, Plan Nine, Plan Nine, where it was like a whole different. Those pig, those other actors were in a whole different other movie, and they just spliced them together. Right. Or um, what, what is that, that guy. Uh, they did it with a lot of B actors, where it was just B roll from other footage. And they just took that footage. Yeah. And. I only know of that they came out and said. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my god, how long are we gonna watch this? Well, we only have 14 minutes left. <laughs> so, thank god. This 14 minutes is gonna last forever though. Alien beasts! <laughs> movie ever made, Alien Breeze. He made like a. This is before MTV had all those crappy music videos. Terminating transmission. This Woo! hideous monster survived through the mutated Joe's radiation blast. This hideous monster survived through Joe's radiation blast. Do we have a fight? Hey, get up! I'm telling you right now, when people say, what's the worst movie you've ever seen? And they, they list off, like, any kind of competent movie. Any. You know, they list off things like, oh, I watched Suicide Squad. It's the worst movie ever. They've never watched Carl J. Suknik's Alien Beast. Suknik. Suknik. Alien Beast. Inside the house. And kill the monster. Repeat, and kill the monster. Countdown to extra dimensional portal opening. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, what? 3, <laughs> He's slowly going. 2, 1. Just go home. Ignition. Just went inside. That's the interdimensional portal. The door. Hey, in this, it's did like you really hit turn on the jukebox? There it is. This guy is.
He could have had a job with Sesame Street at this time. So is this what's happening to him? Or is it just some random stuff? I'm going to go with the ladder. This should have been the rest of the whole movie. This is awesome. It's awesomely stupid. Yeah. star. I mean, this is the worst gun stop motion ever in the history of stop motion, but it's Auto awesome. picture! Auto picture! It's awesome. Comparatively to this movie. Carl Sucknick. This was literally just him playing around with the camera, yeah. and he just put it into the movie. Why oh, wasn't this your intro, Carl? Carl, you've destroyed the enemy, the enemy agents, and the alien extra-dimensional monster. Everything is destroyed. You won. Hooray! <laughs> that was... That was, uh... No way! Uh, that happened! That really happened! Kyle, you destroyed everything! You won! <laughs> that wow! Was, that's fantastic! <laughs> Camera operators, Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Le Wow, there's a lot of people who are camera operators. <laughs> Performers, Neil as Neil the Traitor, Joe as Joe, Mark as Mark, Sarah as Sarah, <laughs> Tom as Henry. Oh, okay, that was a good one. Carl is Carl. Special effects, Mark Teresso. Wardrobe. Carl. Location manager, Carl. Special effects, Carl. Director of photography, Carl. Mm. Transportation, Carl. <laughs> you should drink every time you see him named Carl. <laughs> Take a shot. Peter Messina, right. a special segment by Miss Four. Special segment? Final musical sequence, manufactured oh. by. The special segment, I think it was talking about the, uh... The weird stuff. The weird stuff was... She did that. Are fictitious. Any similarities to any person's living or dead is purely incidental. I, I made alien beat. 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 